Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to Decorance, your go-to channel for all things home decor, and today we're diving headfirst into the enchanting world of pumpkin carving. Whether you're a seasoned pumpkin artist or a first-time carver, you're in for a treat. We've scoured the pumpkin patches, consulted with magical gourds, and conjured up 100 incredible jack-o'-lantern ideas that will ignite your creativity and make your Halloween celebrations truly unforgettable. From spooky specters to adorable critters, we've got it all. And guess what? These ideas are so doable that even your little ones can lend a helping hand. So grab your carving tools, summon your inner artist, and let's transform ordinary pumpkins into Halloween masterpieces. Certainly. Carving pumpkins can be both fun and rewarding. Whether you're a seasoned pumpkin artist or a beginner, here are seven essential tips to ensure your jack-o'-lantern turns out spooktacular. Wipe down pumpkins to prevent rotting. Before carving, wipe the outside of the pumpkin with a diluted bleach solution. This removes microbes that cause decay. Clean out the pumpkin thoroughly, removing all pulp to prevent attracting bugs. After carving, wipe down all surfaces, inside and out, and keep your pumpkin away from direct sunlight. Refrigerate it when not on display, especially in warmer climates. Open pumpkins from the bottom. Carve an opening at the base of the pumpkin rather than the top. This maintains the pumpkin's shape and stem. Most of the gunk settles at the bottom over time, so this method makes cleaning easier. It also facilitates placing and lighting the candle inside. Separate seeds and goop. As you clean out the pumpkin, put the seeds and goop, pulp, in a large bowl of cold water. Stir it well. The gunk will sink to the bottom while the seeds float to the top. Separate the seeds and pat them dry. You can roast them for a tasty snack. Thin the walls of the pumpkin. After cleaning, thin the pumpkin walls to about one two to one inch thick. Thick walls won't allow light to shine through, especially if you're etching a design. Use a potter's loop tool for quick and precise thinning. Certainly, as we embark on this magical pumpkin carving journey, don't forget to check out our detailed blog post at www.decorance.com. Check pin comment or description for more detail. Remember, the blog is your spellbook for all things pumpkin related. Plan and draw your design. First, before carving, plan out your design on paper. Once you make a cut in a pumpkin, there's no going back. Consider symmetry, spacing, and complexity. Transfer your design onto the pumpkin using a washable marker or pencil. Think outside the triangle face. While classic triangle eyes and mouth are iconic, get creative. Explore intricate patterns, silhouettes, or themed designs, animals, stars, or spooky scenes. Etching designs can be just as impressive as fully carved ones. Light it up. Place a candle or lead light inside your carved pumpkin to bring it to life. Experiment with color red lights for different effects. Remember to keep safety in mind. Use flameless candles if you're concerned about fire hazards. Certainly. If you're feeling crafty and want to create your own pumpkin carving tools, here are some DIY options. Potato peeler or knife. A simple potato peeler or a sharp kitchen knife can be used for basic carving. The peeler is great for removing the pumpkin's outer layer, creating smooth surfaces. The knife can make precise cuts for simple designs. X-Acto knife. An X-Acto knife or any small sharp craft knife is excellent for intricate details. Use it to carve out fine lines, eyes, and other delicate features. Be cautious and work slowly to avoid accidents. Old toothbrush. An old toothbrush is surprisingly useful. Use it to scrub away pumpkin pulp from carved areas. It's especially handy for cleaning hard to reach spots. Scrub sponge. A scrub sponge, the kind with a rough surface, can help texture the pumpkin's skin. Create interesting patterns by gently rubbing the sponge over the pumpkin's surface. Experiment with different pressures for varied effects. Spray bottle with water and lemon juice or vinegar. Mix water with a bit of lemon juice or vinegar in a spray bottle. 
spritz the pumpkin's cut surfaces to keep them hydrated and prevent premature drying and wilting. This helps maintain the freshness of your design. And there you have it, fellow decorators. Our magical journey through the pumpkin patch has come to an end. But fear not, your creativity is just beginning. Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And don't forget to visit our spellbinding blog post until next time, my fellow sorcerers of style. Keep those cauldrons bubbling and those pumpkins glowing.